hundreds of stately mansions once lined Long Island's North Shore. It was known as the Gold Coast, and the homes represented the island's wealthy and privileged class. But the Gold Coast era eventually ended, and only a few of those magnificent mansions survived, including one that's made a name for itself in the movies, as Chris Calora reports. Come on. This mansion at Old Westbury Gardens could be the most famous movie mansion on all of Long Island's Gold Coast. There have been 18 major motion pictures going back to first was North by Northwest. Completed in 1906, Westbury House, as it was first called, was the home of the Phipps family. Steel fortune heir John Phipps was the son of Henry Phipps, a partner in the Carnegie Steel Company. It gives the impression of being very old. It's Charles II style, so you'd think you'd step back into the mid-17th century, but the house is relatively modern in that the interior is, it's only 100 years old, so it has uh, all of the modern conveniences, or at least uh, of the early 20th century. The mansion has 23 rooms on about 200 acres of land. It remained the Phipps family home until the late 1950s. One of the kids, Peggy Phipps Bergner, decided that it would be best to share this wonderful place with the public. So Old Westbury Gardens was formed 50 years ago in 1959. In addition to all the famous movies that have been made at Westbury House, perhaps one thing that the home is most famous for is its gardens. We have a two and a half acre wall garden, which is based on a traditional uh, English garden. We have a rose garden, a boxwood garden, demonstration gardens to show what you can do in a typical suburban Long Island uh, garden if you just uh, do it very well. What makes Old Westbury Gardens unique is that it's a combination of three elements. The house, which is the, among the most photographed and interesting houses of Long Island or anywhere else. The gardens, which are indescribably beautiful. And there's the events that you can, you can come for uh, from April right through uh, Christmas time. And the combination of those three things is what makes Old Westbury Gardens really special. So whether enjoyed on the silver screen or in person, Old Westbury Gardens remains open to the public as one of the most accessible of the surviving classic Gold Coast mansions. In Old Westbury, Chris Calora, LI News Tonight.